This month, local LGBTQ organizations say there is a lot to celebrate since the bills that were considered anti-LGBTQ did not pass in this legislative session in Iowa. Our Taylor Musgrove joins us live in studio this morning with more on what these local nonprofits are working on now. Hi, Taylor. Good morning, Jody. Capital City Prize says celebrating the LGBTQ community is a year round mission and it wants people to know how hard local organizations have been working to provide more inclusive environments across central Iowa. Pride Fest really it should be, you know, the culmination of the celebration of our community throughout the whole year. And so I think that's one thing that's important. We're trying to change that narrative that we're doing more than just throwing a festival. Now, some of the events planned this year are a Pride tailgate, an Iowa Cubs Pride night, a silent disco, and Rainbow Safari night at Blank Park Zoo. While Capital City Pride organizes a majority of the Pride Month events in Central Iowa, One Iowa and Iowa Safe Schools tend to focus on the needs of the queer community on a legislative level. Now, the bills that were considered anti-LGBTQ that did not pass this year include banning transgender girls from participating in in girls sports, requiring people to use the bathroom of their assigned gender at birth, requiring parents to be notified if students choose alternative pronouns in school, and removing gender, gender identity as a protected class in the Iowa Civil Rights Act. And it wasn't lost on Iowa Safe Schools that a majority of these bills directly impacted transgender Iowans. There still is a lot of educating to do on the difference between gender and biological sex and what gender identity looks like, which is something that we do at Iowa Safe Schools. We talk about those things with important members of the community. Just making sure that people know uh, that the trans community is just as important as the LGB community. Iowa Safe School says it does expect the bill banning transgender girls from competing in girls sports will resurface for the special legislation in August. And that's their focus right now, Jody. Okay, always work to do. Thanks so much, Taylor.